My name's Robert Evans, uh, I live in Derbyshire, with my son Samuel, um, he's 21, and then my dad, Norman Evans, who's 80. It's always been a dream of his to follow the FA Cup right from the start and then follow the winners all the way to the final. So each round we just, it's winner stays on basically. Well, did you hear why we started here? Well, that's why he wants to know. Or is he going to sell that? Yeah. <laughs> We've got tickets for the Community Shield, and it just so happened it clashed with the first pr extra preliminary round. So we had to scour the fixtures for a dinner time kickoff so we could watch the match and then go to Wembley. And me and Samuel shot off down the motorway and made it to the kickoff. What? Mm, two minutes before? Two minutes before kickoff we got there. So just lucky, really. Yeah, people have, people have always said to me, you're crazy, <laughs> how many miles you've done and... Football yeah. nuts, aren't they? So yeah, we've definitely, yeah. <laughs> definitely done some miles this, this year. It's just, been a, it's just been a good journey, hasn't it? Football all the way. Every two weeks, off we trot. The Rothwell Corinthians, do you remember that? Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Come to a local derby? Or, or, yeah, well, or... Roth, Rothwell's just down the road about... Uh... Yeah. Six miles. There was definitely a buzz, wasn't there? Yeah, we got a good greeting at the turnstile. As we mentioned it, they wanted to know what it was all about. That was good. It was just exci exciting for everybody in Harbour, I think, just to get the FA Cup started, I suppose. They played well, it was good, just a good atmosphere. Yeah, there wasn't a big crowd, was it? No, but I think all the matches, even the, the early ones, they all have a good atmosphere. The second game we came here in August, it was raining. So these, both of these stands were full, like capacity, they wanted a seat to be had, so it was a good atmosphere, wasn't it? Yeah, very good. Biggles Way, play at, um, is it Bedford? Bedford Town Ground. That was right, tree-lined, tree nice country yeah, yeah. field, isn't it? Yeah, out of the city. Out of the, the city, town, out of the city, it? yeah, it's nice. I like the Barking one. That was really upset, wasn't it, really, because they were at the league above, weren't they? Barking. But Dunstable had a good striker, didn't they? He scored a great goal, didn't he? I couldn't believe the power in the shot. Yeah, that was down at Dunstable, wasn't it? Yeah. Peterborough Sports came with them. They just played them off the par, didn't they? Yeah. It rained really yeah. bad mm. and got wet, even though we were undercover. Was that the ground where they were? Can you remember the fans behind the goal? Yeah, they got 12 in the stand, that one, it's full. <laughs> <laughs> right behind the goal. And that's Peterborough and Kings Lynn. That's where they lost. That was the first sort of biggish ground we went to, wasn't it, Kings Lynn? Kings Lynn, yes, it was. Isn't it? Gradually you're going through the rounds, it's obviously getting better grounds, more attendances. As the draw come out, you've, where are we going? Or what's that ground like? What's the normal attendance? It's obviously following the winners. We don't know where we're going to go. We're not picking the closest grounds. So exciting, yes. Yeah, most exciting I've ever been. Watching, Watching the draw. draw, yeah, it's a bit sad, but yeah. It's yeah, amazing. Phone my dad straight away, where are we going? What, what time's kick off? And... Set the sat now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've got to Walsall now at Kings Lynn. And there is the opening goal. That's where it could have all ended. It wouldn't have been sat here now. I think it's made it a bit more special with what happened in November. Well, people can't believe that. Um, I came out of hospital uh, and three weeks later, we were down at Walsall. Yeah. On a freezing cold day, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. It could have stopped all there and then. Makes it a bit more, makes it a bit more special, I think. On the way down to Swindon, we were trying to guess the team. Sam was saying, oh, we'll be playing, the young lads will be playing, and it won't be a very good team that Man City put out. But when we saw the team, we were dead surprised, weren't we? Dead excited then. And I think one of the best goals was a young, a young lad for Man City, Palmer. Cole Palmer, yeah. He scored the last goal against Swindon, didn't he? That's, mm. That was a great goal. They were absolutely on fire, Man City. And I said to Samuel, and they'll verify it, I said, well, that's the one team which will follow to the final. <laughs> and we nearly did, except for one match. It's out to that level. 
left side. City aren't done yet. Mares. Instant equaliser from Gundogan. Oh, Reed is given that straight to Kevin De Bruyne. Mares is available for one. When Man City roll into town to these little clubs, there's all the little kids. They've got the De Bruyne shirts on, haven't they? They've got the Grealish shirts on. They've probably never ever seen them before. And they're so, they're so excited to see him up, up close and personal. Kenton got it out wide here to Mares. The scores! And Manchester City have broken the deadlock just short of the hour. Gundogan. Now Mares with a wonderful goal for Manchester City that may well seal their place in the semi finals. Semi, we've got to the semi-final now. You always wanted to look down Wembley Way, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. So the last time my dad went to Wembley, there were no buildings around Wembley, it was just fields. So he was quite surprised how it's changed. First ever memory of the FA Cup. Oh, I can go back um, in the 60s. I've got to get emotional. You're right. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm getting emotional. I was still telling it. Why? Your dad? Because my dad took me, yeah. yeah. Tottenham played Chelsea. And uh, Tottenham won the cup. And that's the first time I can remember being involved in the FA Cup. For me, the FA Cup is, is so special because we come to a ground like this and then we end up at Wembley, and it's, you wouldn't think a team at this level is in the same competition as all the big teams with all the big stadiums. And it's been fantastic going from this, and working our way up through the size of stadiums to the final. Which it, it, I don't think that would ever happen anywhere else in the world, would it? Robertson on this first Liverpool corner. And it was attacked and headed in by Canate. I think it's the best cup in the world, and it? it's the most globally known cup in the world. I think everyone wants to play in it, so to be a part of it and watch it round by round, I think it's do not get any better, does it? I can't add too much to that, actually. All I can say is I've enjoyed every minute of it. Robertson again. Thiago. Alexander Arnold. Thiago to Mane! That is some finish! and culminated in this, that's what, uh, I just can't describe it. It's been a fabulous eight months journey. Yeah, that's all we talk about, football, isn't it? All the way there and all the way yeah, back. Yeah, well, I, I just hope it's come through to you people, how much we've uh, enjoyed it, that's, and it's all genuine. As you can tell, we, we're a team together. We've also had the question, are we doing it next year? But we think we'll have a year off next year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>